Cubs in town for a four game series that started tonight. Nolan Arnato getting the night off. Don't worry, it was a planned day off, according to manager Mike Schilt. And on the mound for game one, Jake Woodford getting the nod, just his second career start. Scoreless into the bottom of the third here. One on for Dylan Carlson, and he smacks it right up the middle. Bader races home. The throw to home is cut short, makes it one to nothing. Cardinals. Things get wild here in the fourth. You got to watch this. Base is used for Paul DeYoung at the plate. DeYoung chops it to short, but Javier Baez can't grab it. Looks like he was going to try to make a play to third. Baez's error brings in a run, and it's 2 0 cards. Next man up, Bader with the bases still loaded, grounds it to a fielder's choice to short. Baez air mails it. Molina scores. Redbirds up three to nothing in this one. We're still here in the fourth with the bases juice again, and now it's Paul Goldschmidt puts it into play, and no one is at first. Another run will score. Three errors lead to four runs in the fourth for the Cardinals. Offense doesn't slow down from there with the man on for Dylan Carlson. He launches it to deep right, and that stays fair. Two-run bomb makes it seven to one cards. And next man up, Goldie just stays hot at the plate with a solo bomb. He just launched that one. The Cardinals win eight to three, taking game one against the Cubs. The Redbirds are back at 500. That was awesome. It was a great team win. He uh Definitely really helped the pace, the flow of the game, which obviously led to some good at bats for us. So that was huge and uh, it's definitely something to build off. And uh, like you said, he did a really nice job tonight. Well, the Cardinals wasting no time signing their top draft picks. Last week, they inked their first rounder, Michael McGreevy, and today they made things official with their second round pick, Joshua Baez. Baez, who's not related to the Cubs, Javier Baez, by the way, was selected by the Redbirds in the, four, in the second round, 54th overall. The high school outfielder just turned 18 and stands at 6'4 and 220 pounds. The Boston native made his first trip to Bush Stadium today, taking part in some BP, as you can see there, and officially signing for two and a quarter million dollars, according to MLB.com. He says that he plans to use some of that money to buy his mom a house. He will head to Jupiter tomorrow to start his career with the Cardinals. Things a lot. I'm um, like over the past really two weeks. I'm like, it's been crazy. Um, but now it's just time to play baseball. Like I would just, uh, you know, just love to be here within two to three years. Um, for, but for now, it's just about just I'm um, just just getting better and just um, just continue to move up on it and the levels. Well, hockey season is just around the corner, and today the Blues released their preseason schedule. It features eight games overall, and things will start off at home on September 25th. A lot of great games to look forward to, and a lot of stuff to look forward to on Wednesday because mm -hmm. that's the Seattle expansion draft. Mm -hmm. A lot of big changes coming to the Blues. That's for sure. It'll be interesting to see what happens there, and it's a good night when the Cardinals can beat the Cubs. Oh, yeah. All we right. love to see it. All right, that's going to do it for us here on News 4 at 10. So happy to have you with us tonight. News 4 this morning starts tomorrow at 4.30.